Uh, long time no see. See? For those of you who are just tuning in, I'm Johnny. I'm the Wednesday on this channel of the Five Awesome Gays, and this week it is Dear 5AG. <laughs> and we were also meant to make snowflakes but I don't think that's happening. Here are some that I made for Christmas last year. Look at this one, it's sad. Okay, so uh, let's get onto the questions. <laughs> so this week I'm taking questions from Twitter. Look! <laughs> Follow me if you know what's good for you. Always Learning Number 9 says, Dear 5AG, I recently was set up for a date and I get to choose what to do. What should we do? I am so not a date professional. I don't go on dates that often. And if I did, I'd be like, Oh my God, I've got a date. Oh my God, I've got a date. Oh my God, I've got a date. And that is probably the reason why I don't go on dates that often. I guess it really depends on what kind of person you are, because if you want to show your date who the kind of person you are, then do something that you like doing. I don't know, let's say if you like shopping, take your date out for a shop. It would probably be better if you also had like a present you had to get for someone. Because I, I find that you can get conversation really well when you're talking about what to get for someone and you're window shopping and seeing this and that and going, oh my God, this looks really good. And then, you know, maybe get a bite to eat. Then again, like I said, it comes down to the kind of person you are and it depends on how much you want to reveal of yourself to that person. Cinnaboy asks, Johnny, ever plan on having kids? If so, what would you name a boy and what would you name a girl? How many would you want? Kids, mm. now, I'd like to have a boy and a girl and you know, if anything, two would be the most, maybe three, but I think two. Boy would be named uh, Phoenix, I like Phoenix. And the girl, and the girl would probably be either named Faith or Dior. Abdul Samara, sorry if I mispronounced that. Do you ever feel like a plastic bag? <laughs> um, no, I'm, I've never felt like a plastic bag. Brit Loves Billy asks, What's your favorite shirt? I'd say it either have to be this one, which is plaid because I like plaid, or this one because it says, I just want to ride bikes with you. And I think that's really cute. The ironic thing about this one is I can't even ride a bike. Haley Talks asks, if you had one, what was your nickname, pet name growing up? Up until year 10 in high school, I was actually known as John and Johnny became my nickname. I just decided to tell everyone, I was just can you start calling me Johnny? Ask them specifically to spell it with a double E. Cause I'm weird like that. But if you've ever seen me in real life, I kind of walk really weird. I kind of walk more on my toes. So I'm kind of walking and bouncing more on my toes and people used to make fun of that. They used to call me Spaceman. It looked like I hardly had any gravity every time I walked. Okay, that may have been a little bit of an exaggeration. Arma asks, what's the craziest color you've ever had your hair dyed? Oh my God. Back in high school as well, I actually, <laughs> thought that it might be kind of cool if I colored my hair red and it wasn't cool. It was hideous. It was, and everyone was like, yeah, it looks awesome. But you know, it was hideous. Ew, oh my God, it doesn't even look like me. Anthony Slazur7 says, have you ever considered moving to the States? If so, where to? I've been obsessing about moving to New York. The economy there as it is, isn't doing quite well. Jobs are gonna more likely go to people who live in America already. But you know, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. And that's about it for now. Thanks for watching guys and gals. I hope you enjoy the rest of your Wednesday and I will see you next week. And Corey, I hope you get better very soon.